Hi everyone, welcome to this session on Tangle Letters. This will be our last session for the series and today we will be working on a word instead of a letter and which is peace. Right, so this is what we need at this point of time, and uh, this is the least we can do. Right, so I have done some bit of groundwork. This is an A5 size paper, which means the dimensions are basically 14 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Right, so 20 by 14, and I have written piece in the center so please use your calligraphy skills and if you can do it more beautifully please go ahead so I'm going to be doing some groundwork before I move to the letters and I have some water and my basic color panel here if you have liquid watercolors please free to feel free to use it right so what I'm going to do is add some yellow and blue right so first thing that I'm going to do is just wet my paper, add lots of water on it, right? So if you have liquid colors, then also you will have to wet your paper first and then you can use those liquid water colors to bleed on the paper right so this much is done so I'm now going to take my yellow and just touch at places and would like it to spread on its own right so yes it will not give that effect as you get with liquid watercolor but yes pretty good right so I just want yellow at the bottom and blue in the beginning in the first half yeah so one part is done now just wash your brush and then wet the other section also Right, so I'm just pouring water. This is a thick paper, it's about 300 GSM. Right, so make sure that you are using watercolors, the paper is thick enough. And then I'm going to use my blue and bleed it. Right, so just use your blue color and water. And just bleed it on your paper. Yeah, so you won't be required to dab so much if you have the liquid colors, but I don't have it, I don't use it much. So even this gives a nice uneven finish. Yeah, so just using the blue and yellow to express my solidarity with Ukraine. The people suddenly they have turned into refugees from residents so difficult time yeah so that's about it I'm going to stop here and let my watercolor dry up so now that my uh, sheet is ready the colors have almost dried up right so I'm now going to start tangling so let us start randomly I'm going to pick one letter this is C right so the pencil can be lighter I just did it a little dark so that you can see and it shows after the color also right so I'm using an O2 here this is a little bolder nib compared to the O1 because the paper is little rough little coarse grain so you may end up damaging your finer nib right so I have given an outline 
and now I'm going to come back and add the pattern called locker right so we have already done this pattern so feel free to refer to my previous video or you can carefully watch me I am just drawing crisscross what do we call this thorn like things yeah on the inside of the C right so just going with the shape and then rotate then cross so basically the first one goes to the right and the second one crosses the first one right so this is the C and then inside I am going to just introduce a simple pattern called Duda so I am just going to draw lines one small one big one small one big like this right so just make sure the lines are close enough almost looks like one side of a ruler yeah so small and big lines but all starting from the same side yeah because the other side is a different pattern now we will move on to another letter which is A. So for the A I am going to use the tangle shatak. So I will first divide my A into angles like this. So first dividing the A in the fashion that we divide shatak. Right. So we will continue like this assuming that the line is going straight. right and then I'm going to start from this point and add these petal shapes inside instead of auras inside my shatter yeah so I am adding these petals just fill in the small little spaces left in between So instead of the lines inside my shatter, just going with petals. Right? Again go straight. A kind of overlapping starting from the same center point. right again right so if you want you can add something inside just adding some delicate lines inside right like this inside all my petal shapes yeah and then we can start again on the other side so here probably the angles will change uh, let us start from here and then we shall see how do we merge it, right? So I am just starting from here. 
again inking the small little spaces again going to the next angle yeah so take your time go slow patiently give time to each of the letters right so i'm now going to merge it here like this right so and this space i'm going to continue this flower that i drew like this yeah Yeah. So again adding those delicate lines. If you want you can also add a dot it will look even more delicate. Yeah. I'm just going to add something like this for the A right yeah so we are done with the A also now moving on to the next letter that is E right so E I am going to I am going to mention the name of all these patterns as I finish right so I have started with a pattern called Mocha here for my E right so I am just going to aura the space Fill up this section again. Take the curl like this, come back, join it here, go straight, come back down here again. Fill up the space, right? So, just playing with Mocha here again. Take the curl. Again go back, join it here, again join this line, add one more aura, ink it. Right, so the basic, basic of E we have created. Now up to us, what do we want to do inside, right? So the spaces inside, I'm just going to add another arc. like this something like a moon a crescent a molygon right probably something small here and fill this molygon with orbs or any other design that you want any other pattern just plain lines whatever you feel like I'm just adding ops. Right? So slowly just enjoy the process. Pray in your mind.
for people to find peace people who have lost their homes right so i'm just going to join this line and add one more aura like this right so right now i'm going to stop here with my e and we'll see later if we want to do something else we can always add right the other e i'm just going to start like this a pattern somewhat similar to printum only like this yeah so i'm drawing one loop and then adding auras something like hidden printums also called as aim right so looks nice when you shade these overlaps right so i'm now going to take a turn right so i'm going to continue like this you can add some auras like this here indicating that something is hidden inside also right so it looks like overlapping printums only however it has been named aim so i'll mention all these tangles at the end of these this video although i do mention always the name of the tangles but i still believe some of you are do face problem in finding these step outs so so take your time and slowly add these auras and in the center here you can use a mix of tangles also entirely up to you right so that is r e so now we are left with r p so for p i am going to start with book so i am drawing these slanting lines from one end to the other taking reference of the pencil line yeah and then just as we do for book i'm just going to add these orbs nicely squeezing them in make sure you fill up the small little spaces yeah so small little spaces add a lot when inked add a lot of character so don't forget to ink them as you draw the orbs are basically drawn behind i'm squeezing them in i'm not drawing complete orbs here yeah and the last draw right for this section i'm just going to start with a simple line curve line and then introduce a pattern called fleevy so i have drawn a petal two petals and then again added the aura 
then adding the third one again extending the aura adding one more petal again extending the aura adding one more petal extending the aura yeah so basically going to weave in these petals with my aura again adding an aura extending adding one more petal extending adding one more petal extending meeting here right small delicate looking tangle fleevy again extending the aura and inserting leaves in between small little petals right again so whatever space is there just go with the space small lines peeping from between the leaves so here the space is almost over so i'm not inserting any more going to the next one Right. So, one or two more. I think we'll just do the last one here. Yeah. We are done. Right. If you want, you can add some small little petals hanging in here and there will look nice right that's about it so we are done with our writing part let us move to shading now so these E's as I mentioned they are overlaps so it will be a good idea to add some graphite on the overlaps like this right so we can blend it so as the paper changes color from white you can use your chalk pencil to enhance the look of your tangles because chalk starts to show much more right compared to a white tone paper right moving on to the next right and then the A I think I will add on both sides although you can also add at these points from where lines are emanating that's also one possibility So make sure you don't turn the entire thing grey. So 
blend but don't blend too much you can always add a nice shadow inside it will look nice right then moving on to our E of course the mocha pots the molygon yeah don't blend too much you want the blue also to show yeah and then finally our P so P probably I'll add shade on one side and then inside yeah probably where lines are merging or going inside yeah so let us stop with graphite here so I'm going to pick up my chalk pencil and now highlight the other side so you can see how bold the chalk looks like as the co paper color changes right so just soften it with a different blending stub right then on the molygon some parts of mocha also add some ink here and there to add to the look of your mocha moving on to our A going to highlight the center right and a bit of chalk here again soften it again at the ends of the ruler kind of pattern Duda drawn from one side yeah just a slight highlight here you can also add some shade here in between and just softly blend it And then on the E, where you have not added graphite, the curve, a touch with your white chalk. At times you have to press it hard, so do that. Yeah. 
just soften it yeah so we have done that small little thing that you can do here is add a shadow to the E at few places Yeah, I think we are done with our write up. Now it is up to you what do you want to do with the rest of the tile. So, if you want to insert a nice border, please go ahead. I will also do that. So, let me just add one line. So, I am using my 08. can choose any border of your choice if you want you can extend these letters more whatever yeah this is just a suggestion just an idea you can use it partly fully entirely up to you yeah so I'm just going to add some zigzag like this Yeah, drawn that zigzag zigzag line uh, all across, and now I'm just going to add the simple fragment on both sides. Yeah, simple exercise. So one curve, two curve, third curve, and an orb, and just ink the remaining space. Yeah, one curve, two curve, three curve, and orb, and just ink the remaining space. That's about the border. So, just going to continue with this exercise. Right? One curl, two curl, third curl, just as we draw for bales. Right? Just a small little embellishment of one or between and just ink in the small little spaces and you are done yeah so I'll just go on like this right so I'm on the last section last section of my border same border all throughout you can add any border of your choice please feel free this is just a suggestion yeah. So just filling in the small little space left after adding the orbs. And the last one. Yeah, and I think we are done. Just a small inner aura is all that we need. thin aura 
along the border Yeah, and we are done. One small little thing, if you wish, you can do is use your jelly roll pen and add a white dot like this, right? So it will add a little lift to your triangles. So just like white chalk, the jelly roll also adds a lot as the paper changes its color and you can see the orbs popping up as we add that touch of jelly roll yeah so I am going to quickly do that for all my orbs make sure you don't put your hand immediately after using jelly roll it may not show as much on yellow but that's okay keep adding or you may skip adding on the yellow but yes the gloss is showing so as you take it under light it will show that you have put something there right so the last And we are done right so that's our mini project for today and I'm going to close it here if you want you can write your name here I'm not going to write it right now and the name of the tangles I'll just quickly mention the tangles used for the P is perk and flevi right perk and freevy the tangle used for e is mocha the tangle used for the a is shattuck the tangle used for the c is a loker plus duda but a different version and the tangle for e is basically printums also known by the name aim yeah so these are the tangles that we used in our today's mini project hope you enjoyed this series and i'll see you again with another news and tangle original pattern till then have a good time stay safe bye bye